Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video on a tour of Disney Port uh, Orleans Riverside so that you guys can see what it looks like. This is just a really quick overview of us getting um, to the hotel so that you guys can see what it looks like. I won't really give a tour of the actual Riverside area. It's more of a hotel uh, tour. So you can see here the grounds are really, really pretty. So when you get there, um, there's a lot of greenery. Um, it is beautiful. It reminds me of um, the movie The Princess and the Frog. Uh, we actually did a two night stay here in Port Orleans Riverside and what we did was booked it on trip.com. I decided not to go through a real estate agency this time around, um, but trip.com uh, definitely took care of us. It was around $770 for two nights and I would say like based off of uh, being able to stay at the deluxe hotels, this moderate one wasn't that great. I mean look at <laughs> the curtain there. Um, I wasn't a fan of it. It had a pull out bed so if I could imagine uh, my four kids here. I don't think I'd be a fan of this place, to be honest. Um, it, the, the decor wasn't in my taste. Now, if you like the woodsy vibe um, and you like the hunter vibe, you might like this. I just, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't impressed only because um, in four months prior to this trip, I actually was able to stay at the different uh, resorts that Disney had to offer in terms of the deluxe resorts. So we stayed at uh, Polynesian and... Um, some of the other ones and so um, this one didn't compare as well to the places um, that we had already stayed. I know that it's like a, a not a fair comparison but I, I just wasn't a fan and it just felt like we were overpaying for a place here so it's around $350 a night. I felt like when we walked over to like the French Quarter section um, it looked like it was more updated and so this area just didn't um, suit my needs at least. My husband thought it was okay. I just thought it was far away from everything. Also, um, the great thing about this resort is that it's close to, I think it's called the uh, Riverside Mill, and it has a ton of great food, including these delicious, delicious beignets that we were able to find. So as you can see, here's the walk to um, basically the area that has all of the food. And so it's, it's just a great little jaunt um, if you have time in the morning. If you're anything like us, where you're active and you just wanna get going to the parks, um, this might not be for you. You probably have to drive to get there, but that place uh, that has all the food is has just amazing food and it's delicious.